Hi to all free energy researchers. This is an experiment with an electric ball, an ordinary plasma ball that doesn't shock you with electricity in an ordinary situation. It runs off 12 volts and 200 milliamps. We're turning it off. Now we're taking foil, regular aluminum foil that is stretched, stretched around the ball and we put it on the ball. We have a uh, Ford ignition coil that goes on one spark plug for one cylinder and we take the coil that connects to the spark plug to the foil it's difficult to turn it on with one hand and now they're touching the ignition coil is connected to a 20 watt 20 watt a 12 volt halogen light bulb and now I'm touching the wires and it starts to glow The harder I press, and if I touch it with my fingers or my whole palm, the light bulb glows brighter or dimmer. Three fingers, four thing fingers. So the foil collects energy and brings it to the ignition coil, and then the primary is connected to which is now the secondary, is connected to the halogen light bulb and it glows. There's also a spark that will hurt you if you touch it with your finger. to touch it with your hands. Note from the translator. So this, I tried to light a 10 watt, 12 volt halogen light bulb by wiring it, connecting it to a 12 volt source through a resistor. So only 200 milliamps will flow through the circuit and I measured the current there wasn't a sign of glowing filament during this experiment so 20 watt light bulb will require even more current to make it glow halogen light bulbs are made the same way incandescent light bulbs are except there's more pressure in them to keep the filament from evaporating Therefore, they output more light and consume more current. Uh, I have a hypothesis that th this circuit can self-tune to the resonance of the of the high voltage source because filaments on incandescent and halogen light bulbs have many many coils which turn on to themselves. And when we have this light bulb working, electricity can jump from one of those coils to another, forming a really small, unnoticeable discharge. And this is why 
incandescent light bulbs burn so well in all the free energy experiments. They have their filaments, which are not just resistive loads, they're also a self-tuning set of spark gaps and they offer alternative path to to electricity. So if we have the Tesla self uh, Tesla hairpin circuit and instead of a hairpin we use a a very 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 long filament that coils onto itself and then in a inert gas then we would offer electricity many alternative lengths of the conductor that it can take at its own choice and it will possibly tune to the frequency therefore the Tesla Tesla hairpin circuit connected uh, in parallel with an incandescent bulb specifically and I have seen many of those videos works very well and other loads are simply not responsive to that specific place in the hairpin circuit because the wavelength is not at its peak and the wave doesn't go through them but coily curly light bulb filaments can in a way act as a set of different conductors of different lengths. But this is just my hypothesis and I'm voicing it here.